The Obama Presidential Library won't open for a few years, but the doors just opened on a much anticipated opportunity. CBS 2's Dorothy Tucker is live at the McCormick Place Hyatt to explain. Dorothy. Well, the opportunity is a chance for Southside residents to ask questions and voice concerns about the Presidential Center at a meeting that is going on inside of the hotel. Now, those folks are over there behind me. They are among those who are concerned about being displaced when the center opens. The center won't open for another five years, but it is already prompting redevelopment in the community. Right now, it's a bank that's going to be demolished. A longtime eyesore in the corner of 71st and Jeffrey, slated for demolition to make way for a multi million dollar entertainment center. Which has a dine in cinema, a Creole inspired restaurant. Business owner Lisa Stark's project is less than a mile from the site of the Obama Presidential Center. All of this will help to revitalize South Shore. President Obama promised an economic boom to the area, a projected $177 million a year. Alderman Leslie Harrison says it's already started. We've got people that are investing in uh, hotels. We've actually got small businesses that uh, may not have looked at us before that are taking a second look at us now. And with more than 2,000 jobs projected, Harrison is preparing community residents for construction positions. What are you doing? So we are having developers come in, we're having the unions coming in, um, we are talking about the different trades, what the requirements are, what the, what the salary is. There's a lot of excitement. Homeowners like Sea Coal are excited about the rise in property values. So these are solid slate stairs. Her four-bedroom, four-and-a-half-bath home in the historic Jackson Park Highlands was once valued at $950,000. Today it appraises for 650000 but realtors tell her if she waits a couple of years, maybe 800 People want to be in proximity to great things. President Obama is scheduled to visit Chicago next month to host a summit in conjunction with the center. Reporting live from the South Loop, Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 News, back to you, Rob and Erica. Dorothy, thank you.